Gresh Morgan yet again. This time uh, it's going to be a little quicker video. Uh, what I'll get to eventually is the Pop King Paul uh, on June 10, 2024. Uh, they had the Mega Metallic Grail Hunt. It's $19 per pop, uh, per box. I bought four boxes. But then I had some other stuff uh, that I wanted to go over. Uh, starting with this one, uh, this was a garage sale pickup. Um, this got it at a garage sale. It wasn't in 100% condition or anything, but I saw it and I, it took me back to when MTV used to play music. Are any of you old enough to have remembered when MTV played music on their channel? Uh, but here's the MTV Moon Man. It's 201 MTV. TV uh, Moon Man 201, and every time I picked up the garage sale, it was $2, right? Two bucks, I thought, you know, it's got a little tear here in the corner, a little fray there. Other than that, it looks pretty good, except when you turn it a certain way, you hear kind of a rattle, which concerns me. But uh, every time I see this guy, it reminds me, like, he would pop up on the screen and it would be like, I want my MTV. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> probably not cool the way I did it, but I wanted to show that to you guys. Um, yeah, so I thought, you know, for $2, why not, right? <laughs> uh, that's the first one. Uh, the second one here, uh, if you've seen my previous videos, uh, I went on to FunkoPop.com and I said, hey, give me, a, give me an alert, give me an update when you guys get in the Dazed and Confused Pops, because I would like to order your Dazed and Confused Pops. So they sent me an alert, I ordered them, and I revisited the order because in my in a previous video, I got two of the same pop, Randall, uh, and I didn't get the Matthew McConaughey character. And so I went back, I double-checked my order, and I did indeed order it correctly. So I sent them an email, and as usual... Uh, they were very accommodating. They said, hey, hey, Dustin, we're sorry. We're sorry that didn't uh, work out for you. We made a mistake. Go ahead and keep the duplicate pop, and we'll send you out the correct one. And so hopefully when I open this, it's going to be the correct one and in great condition. What did we get here? Yep. All right. We got our Matthew McConaughey, guys. All right, all right, all right. All right, number 1603 here, we have David Wooderson, 1603. Yeah. You know what I like about high school girls? I keep getting older and they stay the same age. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, <laughs> this iconic line from that. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to show you this, guys. Uh, this is just something... Just something I picked up, I saw it, and I was like, instantly kind of started laughing because I was like, this is just a great movie. I don't know if anybody else out there, uh, you know, has an affinity for the uh, National Lampoon's movies, but uh, I had to order this guy. This is Cousin Eddie. We got Cousin Eddie 243, Cousin Eddie 243, and I always thought when I uh, when I watched Cousin Eddie on uh, National Lampoon's uh, Christmas Vacation, I thought, wow, this guy, this guy is a great actor. He he just seems to you know really capture the craziness of Cousin Eddie. But then you see him in real life on interviews or filmed and stuff, and you're like, no, he didn't capture anything. That's who he is. He's batshit crazy. <laughs> so, but I thought this is a, a pretty cool pop. I'll get a close-up of that one. This is one that I, you know, I'll probably add to my, my own collection here, even though uh, I'm always a little disappointed when they send me stuff that's damaged, though. That's a little, a little bit sad. Okay, so, but that's a cool pop. I'll probably throw it in a protector. I can't imagine Cousin Eddie's worth a lot, but that's not why I bought him. Just like the the uh, MTV Moon Man, I, I imagine the Moon Man's probably under retail. Maybe retail was like 15 bucks. I bet it's probably 10 to 12 somewhere in there would be my guess. Um, but now, let's get to the ones that hopefully, hopefully will be pretty good. 
if we're lucky at all. So these were the Mega Grails. Let me turn around and look. It was, yeah, one pop per box. Um, I mean, it looked like you could get some good ones, but they're usually always guaranteed over value, too. So if I'm paying 20 bucks a pop, these are, even if they're not the ones that are, you know, on the, on the image for the actual product, they're still going to be good pops, I imagine. So as long as they're not... Uh, I, you know, I'm just not a fan of the uh, animation one. Not the, I guess the Japan animation ones, the Japanese uh, animations. I don't, I don't really care for those. Um, those pops or the, I know they're super popular now too. The what is it, uh, One Piece, One something or I, I don't know. Well, let's see what our first one we got here is, guys. Ah, that's cool. We got Forrest Gump, 770. Forrest Gump, oh Jenny. All right, at time of boxing, it was 18 bucks. So I think these were $19 each. 1905, so I was actually expecting it to be at least 1905, unless maybe I didn't read it right. Maybe these weren't all going to be guaranteed over value, but I mean, it's still Forrest Gump. Who didn't like Forrest Gump? All right. <sighs> well, I don't like to start off by losing money, but... Uh, Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> oh, I sure would like to pull out a Mega Grail, a Mega Metallic Grail. I'm going to let you guys see first because I care about you. Okay, what do we get? Oh, well, this one's $21 at the time of packaging. But we got a Mickey Mouse 01, Mickey Mouse 01, Mickey Mouse 01. Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of, oh, these are the, these are some crappy pops. They don't have the uh, cross fastener that goes in to hold the thing down. But uh, I'm not really a, not really a Disney Funko Pop person either, so. Eh, eh. <laughs> well, all right, we got two left. We got two of these left. Come on, Pop King Paul. I don't hate the Force Gump. Not a huge fan of Mickey, though. I do like him in orange. What's the deal behind an orange Mickey? Is that supposed to be like a Halloween limited edition Funko or something? I don't know. Ah. <sighs> I, I am more of like the uh, comedy movies, Transformers, G.I. Joe's, uh, maybe some some music ones. I don't know. Let's take a look, guys. <sighs> Could we just get one Mega Metallic Grail out of four? I think there's a total of 300 boxes, so obviously, you know, chances aren't great, but you can always hope, right? Okay, so here's number four. How... Um, Oh, uh, you know, I'm opening them on the label side, but that seems to be backwards here. Oh, okay. We got Zombie Wolverine 662. Zombie Wolverine 662. Okay, at the time of boxing, uh, he wasn't worth anything because they didn't put a sticker on this one, I guess. But uh, we'll figure it out. I mean, it looks pretty cool. You got the uh, exposed rib cage in there. Uh, I'm not sure... You know, I don't think this has any super value, but I do like I do like the Wolverine ones, the uh, Marvel comic ones. I, I like a lot of the Deadpool ones too, even though they don't. It seems like most of them don't have much value. All right, guys, final one for this video. Oh. Come on, Mega Metallic Grail hit. How nice would that be, Dad? in the video with a good item. I think that's only happened to me like once too when I was opening them and I ended up, I think it was with the uh, Booberry. I got the Booberry Pop. At the time I unboxed it, it was valued at 280 but a lot of the Funko prices have been dropping and uh, so it's now valued at like 200 but you know a lot of, uh, I've heard like Clint say on Franchise Kicks that you know, you know Funko Pops are sinking, they're really dropping, they're falling apart. You know what I, I I think it is? I think it's more of a, you know, we went over COVID. They probably had this big rise. Everybody's at home looking for something to do. They're buying Funko Pops. 
I think what they're really doing is instead of dropping out the bottom, I think they're just normalizing. You know, like when you uh, when a stock gets oversold and you know shoots straight up, but then you know people are like, "Wow, this is really overvalued." Let's drop this, and then it comes back and normalizes out a little bit. I think that's what's happening with Funko. Um, I mean, you know, do we all have some ideas where, you know, it improve Funko sales? And, you know, if they had maybe a once a month a mystery box where, uh, you know, maybe they had a 2,000-piece uh, Funko in there that you could only get through these mystery boxes that they created or something like that. Um, maybe you sell 5,000 boxes, 50 bucks each, guarantee PPG value, and then you have that, uh, you know, out of the 5,000 boxes, maybe 2,000 of them will have this special pot that you can only get through their mystery boxes. I think that would increase their sales. I think that would increase the value if they came out with some stuff that, you know, you could only get through them initially. I think uh, that might be a good idea. You know what else I'd like to see them do? A, I'm kind of rambling now, but what i like to see them also do is maybe do Funko Pops for, uh, I don't know if anyone else out there watches this, but Matt's Off-Road Recovery uh, on YouTube. He's got like 1.74 million followers, and, you know, he's, he's a character. He's got his sons that are characters. Uh, they've got all these different cool vehicles. I think you could get a real good collection of, you know, Matt's Off-Road uh, recovery Funko Pop series, and then you'd probably tap a market that may not normally be into Funko Pops. You know, the people that follow Matt's Off Road may not be Funko people, so you may be able to tap into that market, especially when he promotes it on his own channel. But just spitballing. Maybe think about it, Funko. All right, our last one. Did we get a Mega Metallic Grail? Well, I think. The answer is going to be no, because I think Pop King Paul does the tissue paper thing. He wraps them and puts them in something. Oh, we got... Oh, Kelly Mundy. Well, it's only worth 22 bucks, but I loved Married with Children. That was an awesome show. Yeah, Kelly Mundy, $6.90. Kelly Bundy, $6.90. $22 at the time of boxing. Okay, so that's seven pops, guys. And that's going to be it for this video. Um, help me... Help me get to a thousand subscribers. That's what I'm shooting for. Uh, quite a ways off now. I'm only around like 350, 380, somewhere in that range, I think. Um, but yeah, go ahead and hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit the like button. Until I see you next time, thanks for stopping by Gresham, Oregon.